the electron microscope, at a magnification of 40,000, dislocations appear as black lines, which move sporadically when the foil is deformed, as in the lower right quadrant. When successive dislocation segments glide in one band, they are on a common slip plane, which is inclined to the plane of the foil. This foil has been thinned to a thickness of 300 atomic layers, so as to be transparent to electrons. The short curved dislocation lines observed by transmission electron microscopy are segments which extend from top to bottom of the crystal. Dislocation segments are also seen gliding on parallel slip planes, since the shear stresses on such planes are approximately equal. The glide of a multitude of dislocations on many slip planes and in every grain enables polycrystalline materials to deform plastically. This property accounts for the use of one or more operations of hot or cold forming in the manufacture of about 85% of all metal products. It also permits accidental shape changes without fracture and subsequent restoration to shape. Later in the film, the atomic mechanisms responsible for a variety of dislocation motions are illustrated.